It was the study of geometry that allowed our ancestors to build these amazing structures of old. I mean, the Egyptians knew geometry, the Babylonians knew geometry. They knew, they had a very sophisticated understanding of geometry. In Indochina, designers and builders of the great temple complexes in Indochina, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and so on, they also had a, a, a very uh, in-depth working knowledge of geometry. They had this belief that geometry was fundamental to all of creation. And there's a number of very interesting quotes that sort of express the general philosophy behind sacred geometry. And one of those is that, you know, God was the, the great geometrician and God created the universe by means of compasses. There's a famous uh, quote from Proverbs about God creating the universe by setting his compasses upon the face of the deep. That idea has been intrinsic to fundamental spiritual and religious outlooks. I mean, because most of the ancient architecture that we see and that we can cite as exemplifying the principles of sacred geometry had a sacred uh, purpose to it. Now archaeologists look at many of these ancient structures like Stonehenge or some of the monumental earthworks of the of the Ohio River Valley or Mississippi River Valley or the Chacoan culture, whatever. And they say, well, it was a ceremonial, ceremonial purpose. You know, why was Chaco Canyon erected and built? Uh, you know, with Casa Rinconada and Casa Bonita and et cetera. It's recognized that they probably weren't inhabited, that they weren't, in other words, they weren't residences that people lived in. They were purely ceremonial. But what does that actually mean? 